All right, guys, welcome back to another Mob Bros video. Today we are filming in a bit of a different location. It's my bedroom at my new house. We're uh, still sitting up, setting up the true studio. Yeah, I, but we wanted to film this so we can get it out there because we have yet to see any like true reviews of the new darts. We couldn't find the actual like blaster. Yeah, it sold Walmart. out just a couple days ago. Yeah, it sold out. So we're still gonna be looking for that. But for right now, we're gonna try and quickly film a little review of this. And upload it and get it out there. So we are reviewing the Tactical Strike Pro Darts. <laughs> Honestly, a pretty good price for a hundred. It's just like ten dollars. Yeah, I I know a lot of people have been telling me about how you can get like a hundred worker darts for like six dollars or something. Mm -hmm. But for getting a hundred darts in stores, I'd say that's pretty good. I was usually up until the release of this, I was probably just going to use uh, e like darts, which are the same price. And whatnot, but I can get them in red, which is kind of cool. So we're gonna look and open this bad boy. Is there tape on it? Yeah. Oh, I was like, I don't know if I'm necessary. <laughs> I would, I, I like the packaging, but honestly, I think it would have been better. I'll just tape all around it. Yeah. I honestly think it would have been nicer if they had done it in like a small little like plastic container. That way you could put all the darts in one place. So first impressions, you can grab yourself a one and get to it. They smell. <laughs> they smell. Uh, foam looks to be of decent quality. It's pretty decent. The heads are the pretty heads, good. Head's not as squishy as I thought it would be. It's kind of, mm. this front section is pretty solid and then it just has this compressible area there, which is, yeah. All right. Foam feels pretty strong. It's like it's pretty strong. The glue feels pretty. <laughs> oh, oh my God. God. <laughs> So I don't have I don't have any like fancy like scale where I can grip it to show you, but I can just grab the head and show you that it's stretching a lot before it even grabs. So yeah, we don't really have the best lighting set up. Sorry about that, guys, but uh, they're nice. I'm not really the biggest fan of like flat-headed darts, just because I don't really feel that aerodynamic. I mean, I'm not gonna complain. Uh, can't really do test of its experience but it of its like durability one but if I grab the front well there goes our light setup <laughs> perfect timing uh, so yeah to, to give you guys a little bit of durability test gonna grip it and grab the front it's oh. <laughs> pulling the glue apart but, but then it goes right back Goes right back. Yeah, Honestly, the glue's kind of stretched. Take a look at this idiot. Grab this worker. Boom. <laughs> <laughs> that was a fresh worker too. <laughs> Barely grabbed it. Yeah. I mean, workers known for their classic little height difference. These, honestly, have honestly really good glue. I'm not seeing. I I mean like, I'm not like going through these with a fine tooth comb, but I'm not seeing any that have like a bunch of glue on the side, which you would have with like workers. That dart is still perfectly fine. I don't really know what else to say. I'm not, I'm not really the biggest. I don't really use half darts that much, so I don't have the biggest opinion. But I'd say these are pretty decent darts. Um, a little sad you can't buy the full length ones in stores, from what I've seen, because their full length version of these would be great. Yeah. I would expect those would be perfect for them. Oh, yeah, 100%. Because compressible if heads, but very compressible, good quality darts. Compressible heads, good quality, and also hopefully accurate. Yeah, we're gonna be going and testing these outside in Tucker's at Zeus a little bit. But if these are at all accurate, I as like workers, I would say these full legs would be great for them. Yeah. Um. But yeah. So very excited that these are sold in these stores. I think that would be great. Nerf doesn't use the arena that we play at. Nerf doesn't use half lengths. And whatnot. I'm pretty sure if you bring in your own, they're fine with that. Yeah, you can use your own. Yeah, they would be totally fine with that. And so we might be able to play with some half lengths. There, but if we get to their 100 FPS, but if they sold these full lengths, a hundred percent, I would totally recommend it. Like, even over ACC's, probably because they're these, I think they're cheaper than the ACC full lengths. The ACC's are very good for all of them, and, but these will also be good for all of them because they have their compressible heads and they have heads smaller than the foam, so they work in brass. True, they do work in brass from what I've heard. <laughs> I have a katana mag and a town mag here, just to like test compatibility. They seem to be just the right length to where they're not gonna like rub or anything. 
compared to a worker, they are actually a little bit shorter. Yeah. Uh, that's including the worker-like thing. If you fully compress the worker, it's about the same length. Um, but yeah, they seem to load just fine. The heads are a little bit rubbery, so if they catch on the front of stick. the mag, yeah, they may stick, but those seem to be just fine. All right, well, yeah, those are it for our first impressions. Now we're gonna load up mag. Do a quick crony test and go outside. Quick crony test, yeah. Let's do this range and... For all our testing, we're gonna be using Tucker's x Zeus with the brass barrel. I think, I think for right now, let's do it without the scar. Just to see. Yeah, that's why I took it off. How well I haven't darts. sanded the scar yet. Also, using the darts without the scar could be a really good show if they can be accurate. Because like I've, I've seen people like, like oh, workers don't even need a scar. And they're like, oh, dude. So it should be hitting around 200 if it's. Oh my fuck! Well, I mean, this was hitting 200 with ATC. That can't be right though. I like it. <laughs> oh, oh no. It's because it's black darts. Black darts, yeah. Except it should read the heads just fine. Yeah. Hmm. I mean, that seems accurate though. That does seem accurate, yeah. It, we may have a few outliers just because of the black foam throwing it off. 77? It's a little low, but I, I wonder if the rubber head is catching on the brass. 205. Putting this actually, this is it's, getting worked in around. It's just now working. <laughs> 189. 208. Whoa. Did you put 10 in? Yeah, I put 10 in. All right. And yeah, yeah, yeah. 208 again. That's, so it's saying an average of 213. But I think it's probably closer to like 205 because of probably that. Probably closer to 205 since that first one is going to throw it off. A I'll have bit. the true average pop up on the screen right now. Yeah, Cause editor Tucker get doing in that math. Yeah, editor Tucker using calculators. <laughs> All right, uh, so now we're gonna go head outside. Very hot day here. It's been very hot, so <laughs> we're gonna be struggling outside with some better lighting and uh, accuracy test and a range test. We'll see you there. Oh, we we pranked you. We're no longer using the Exus. We're using my Cita. That has the Omega barrel, the brass breech, part of an HMI kit. Where the heck? Jacob's over there. And it has Jacob's lower. We being got, ultra tactical yeah, now. Got a scope and everything. So this is Tucker's Cita. The barrel is relatively centered. I'm gonna be going away from that rival target that we have set up. I'm gonna be going like 75 feet away, trying to hit the target. The bin's there to catch any like close misses. And if we miss it like crazy at this distance, this sad, no scar, uh, 200 FPS Cita. Yeah. So you're gonna be like down there. Watching. Yeah. Okay, Jacob's gonna be shooting 10 shots at the target, like you said, from down there, down there. That sounded weird. That sounded weird. Hit the trash can in case you were wondering. Hit just above. Dude, that was real close. Woo! Nice. All right. So what? 
you missed completely four darts, hit the bin six times? I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I'll go back and look. Also, secret, the Exodus was more accurate than this. It has a longer barrel, and I think that's why. Uh, All right, we're back inside my room. Back inside with the AC. Back inside with AC. Back inside with the darts. Um, back inside with my broken mortality meter. Yeah, that's yeah. going to be a different video, though. Uh, closing statements on the darts. I think these are fantastic. They I think work. they're great darts. They worked really well. Decent price. Fuck workers. He's great. I mean, I mean, fuck worker. No, <laughs> darts bad. Fuck <laughs> worker. Terminator proxy. <laughs> yeah. Uh, darts ass. Honestly, the one they work in brass. They work with a pusher breach, a brass breach. They performed on par with other darts of half length variety, so I'd say they're on par with FPS. They're a good price. Uh, I'm assuming that the more people buy these, the more like the more what's the word? The more welcome in the stores? More common? More mainstream they'll more, become. The more mainstream these become, they'll probably become cheaper because Darts on Pro when they first released that, 150 bucks for that. Like 180? For the 1.0? That was the collector's edition. So I'm saying for like the 1.1, I think it was only 150. That sounds right. So like 150 for the Dart Zone 1.1, that was like the like production model. And then after that got bought all out, they were able to produce more like manufacturing wise, make it cheaper, and then they made the Nexus. So these, $10 for a first run, I think that's great. Could probably go down to maybe even $5 later on. The one, the one downside that I had to these is we did, we did multiple shooting tests outside just because we wanted to make sure that we were actually like, getting some decent results and I lost one of them outside. So I'll say that the color makes it a little bit hard to find. Uh, they were like either on the street, in the grass. It's helpful because there's not really, there's no natural orange that no, color. The orange is good. We got baited out by a couple leaves though. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think the black gray it is not very good. Also for us with our Saturnaeus Chrono, it doesn't really chrono black darts very well because the IR, uh, the IR sensors get sort of fucked up by the colors. Yeah, so but just by going with life. our past test, it seems accurate. I think it worked well because of the orange heads. Yeah. I think the reason the, AC, uh, the ACC folding still worked real well is because it's black and gray. Yeah. And those are kind of hard to, for it to tell. So we got, we got relatively decent numbers after the first one. That was an outlier, uh, but I would say that these are very good. I just hope that they come out with different colors. Come out with a red one. I'll be excited. Yeah. A Target exclusive. Target <laughs> exclusive dart. Yeah. The DZP 1.1 was red at Target. If they come out with Target darts, those will be red too. So I'll be happy with that. These are Walmart exclusive. Why aren't they blue? I don't know. can't tell you. Uh, they are black and orange because they wanted to say Frick Ultra. Am I right? Frick Ultra. Frick Ultra, y'all. Uh, but yeah, that's gonna be it for this video, guys. Hopefully not too long. Hopefully it's very easy to follow and whatnot. I hope you guys liked it. Make sure to check out these darts at Walmart if you're looking for some junior half lengths. And we'll check you guys out in the next one. Hopefully we'll be getting a Nexus Pro soon that we can review and mod for you guys. But we'll see where the rest of us. Tag uh, all of the links, Jacob. Uh, we got a fake, uh, do we have a we, we have a Facebook. We got a Facebook, we got an Instagram. If you guys got any comments, let us know in the description. Or let us know in the comments below in our description. We've got a whole bunch of links to all our stuff. Check out our Patreon. Check out our Etsy. Buy some shit. Everything's Etsy. back up on the store now that we got that 3D printer. Now that Tucker has successfully moved into his new place, we can start setting up the shop again. So check out our shop if you want to buy some cool mod things. And yeah, check out our YouTube. Like, comment, and subscribe. If you guys are, have never watched our videos before and you're just coming to us because we're reviewing the new darts, check out our videos. You, might, you guys might like it. We do modified blasters that we think are pretty cool. Yeah. So, yeah. Thanks, guys. See ya, bye. No one's allowed to make fun of my Cita. I know I don't have the takedown pins. I am <laughs> holding it together with a screwdriver. I know it's jank, but I currently just moved, so I don't know where my takedown pins are. No bullet plus. But, uh, I mean, it works. And that's all that counts.